When you go to the beach on a cold winter's day, I always suggest that you take your inflatables with you, like Crocodile and Lilo. Some say what you need now is a pump. Or a good set of lungs. But that's all rather hard work. What you need now is some compressed air. And this is where your air gun cylinder comes in handy. Oh yeah. Hey! Whoa. Oh. Here we go. How about that? No effort. I'm ready to go in seconds. So what do you do when your air cylinder runs out of air? You should go in the sea next. I'm not going in the sea. No, it's about minus three. I'm not going in the sea. When your air is all gone, you need something like this, the Air Venturi Compressor. Now this is for air guns only, it's not suitable for breathing air. Let's be clear on that before there are any lawsuits. Miners come over the Atlantic from Pyramid Air, and yep, they are shipping these in the 240 volt version. Because of our special relationship with the good old US of A, when my compressor arrived at the front door, I had to pay £120 import duty for it. <coughs> However, I've spoken to Pyramid Air and they've said, oh, they don't like that either. So they're going to try and negate that in some way at the point of purchase. If you've got any questions about that, email them, but they're going to help you. Special relationship restored. The unit is 18 inches wide and just under 17 inches high and just under 17 inches deep. It weighs around 76 pounds. 34 kilos, but you will need to add oil and water so that weight will go up a bit. Out of the box you need to go through the setup process and it's quite simple. Included are lots of spare gaskets, o-rings and connection equipment. Remove the cover plate at the rear of the unit to expose the water tank. Remove the right hand side plate and this will expose the motor. Remove the cover from the water container and add approximately 5 quarts of water. Quarts. What's a quart? I'm British. Vive la Britain, that's French. What's a quart? Dear Google, I am British. What is a quart? It actually turns out it's about 4.5 litres of water. Remove the rubber plug for the oil reservoir and fill it with oil, 5W50 oil, or something quality enough for the compressor. Fill it just above the line. Then screw the oil breathing plug into the top. Install the pressure release valve thumb turn thingy. Put all the bits back on and you're ready for the first run. Now the manual says don't connect the compressor to anything, just run it for 10 minutes to let it bed in. The manual included is clear and easy to follow and the operation instructions are also printed clearly on top of the unit. The safety precautions on heat and not leaving it running alone are clearly stated in the manual and an auto overheat cutoff is built into the machine. But in case God has it in for you on the day that you use it, a clear temperature gauge is on board for you to monitor things yourself. The compressor has a red needle on the pressure dial. Set it to the pressure you require and the unit will auto shut off when it gets there. You do that by pushing the red button down to connect with the metal needle inside the dial and line them both up to confirm the pressure you require. I work in bar. Everyone talks to me in PSI, but the dial does give bar and PSI readings. The compressor connects directly to your Foster adapter on your cylinder hose. The male to female connector comes with the compressor. 
It's easy to use. Connect to the mains, set the max output on the compressor, connect your hose to your cylinder. If your bottle is a top-up or partial fill, start the cooling system. Let that start. Then turn on the compressor. Wait for the pressure to get within a few bar or PSI of the bottle pressure and then open the top valve on your bottle. Topping up now starts. When the compressor is finished and is cooling, close the valve on top of your bottle. However, if your bottle is completely empty, you can open the valve on top of your bottle before you turn on the compressor. When the filling is finished, always use the pressure release valve on the compressor to bleed the pressure. You may get some pre-filter residue and moisture, so it's an idea to always try and catch that. You can then disconnect your bottle. The compressor comes with a plug for a foster fitting for your bottle. This will help you gauge your fill pressure before you start. Also, if you're on a long fill, it's recommended to help prolong the life of the filter to bleed a bit of pressure off every 15 minutes or so. Now, filling times. To fill my FX Crown from around 70 bar to 250 bar, and that's a 480cc carbon tank, it takes around four minutes, give or take a few seconds. My three litre bottle from around 160 bar to 300 bar takes just over 15 minutes. Filling these bottles from completely empty is, well, quite rare. I can't remember the last time I did one. So I'm gonna give you the topping up figures because that's really what makes a difference to me. So for a 12 litre bottle to top up from 200 to 300 bar, is around 39 minutes. For a seven litre bottle from 200 to 300 bar is around 21 minutes. And for a three litre bottle, topping up from around 200 to 300 bar is around 12 minutes. What's the cost of running that compressor? Well, I use the easiest method that I could find and that's called my home energy monitor. I took during and after readings and my outcome is that the compressor is using around 1.83 kilowatts per hour at a cost on my home tariff of 27.5p per hour. That's going to vary around the world. As with any electrical compressor on the market, you must always make sure that your wiring is up to standard. Don't go using wiring from sort of the 60s and the 70s that's not good. Make sure your circuit is protected by a working RCD. If you want to be doubly sure, you could use the cooker ring network, which has actually got more oomph to it. But either way, make sure your electrics are in order before you plug this in. The Pyramid Air website gives loads more details on this compressor, including more details on fill times. There's also another video on there that was made by some bloke called Rossi. In that video, he does a bit of juggling. The main thing to spot in that video, though, is that throughout the entire presentation, his hair is absolutely perfect. Now, there's no real way to glamorise a compressor. It's a compressor. It puts air into things. I don't think putting it on a Caribbean beach or against a beautiful backdrop is going to make the item itself any more interesting. It's a compressor. And actually, it's not too noisy. I'm talking to you as I would do normally. It does vibrate a little, as you can tell, but I am on a wooden floor. The manual says that after the first 25 hours use, you should change the oil in the compressor. There is no system on the unit to actually record how long you've been using it for, so you'd have to record that manually. Then, after the first oil change, they say that you should then change the oil every 50 hours or so. They also say that after the first 50 hours runtime, you should change the air filter. And to do that is all easily and clearly explained in the included manual. This is an ideal home unit compressor. 
put it in your garage or your workshop and whenever you need to top your rifle or your bottle up it's there ready to go. With air rifles becoming more and more efficient in this day and age and shot counts getting higher the air gun is fast growing against centerfire rifles. And shooters around the world are beginning to realise that. You buy the gun, the scope and the bottle and a compressor and yes, all you need to keep buying time after time is the pellets, which are actually way cheaper than brass cartridges. Now, I'm not saying that this is the right option for everyone out there. You need to do your own math and work out what's best for you. But if you have a home compressor, you have unlimited air. And with unlimited air comes unlimited range time. There you have it, with the Air Venturi compressor, you're never going to run out of air again. One thing I do recommend though, is if you are going to use your bottle on the beach, don't get sand in your gun. Ta-da! All the links you need are in the description box below, including ones to follow me on social media. There's the standard, I did it first book. Look at my dog book. Please, please, please read my appeal book hate book and there's also links to follow me on instagram and twitter many thanks for watching bye bye